Qualitative structural analysis is about understanding structures without relying on exact calculations. It involves deformed shapes, load paths, and bending moment diagrams. And we don't need any exact calculations. It is used in initial design of structures and for comparing the numerical solutions with approximate ones. In today's tutorial, I will solve one example related to IStract Structural Behavior Certificate course. You will have an opportunity to attempt the quiz before you start watching the presentation. This is the question which I will be solving today. It is a two member frame with a fixed support on left side and on the right side it is a pin support. A central point load is applied on top beam. There are three options to choose from. You have to choose the deflected shape for uh, this member and I will solve this question. After that, I will go through three more cases so that you understand the boundary conditions and support conditions and what are the effects of the support conditions on actual frames. If you want to attempt this question, pause this video for a few minutes and take this quiz by scanning this barcode or going to this URL which is mentioned on the slide. I will put the link down below in description and take this quiz first before watching this video. It will really help you to test your knowledge and understand the structural behavior. I will be solving this question and three more cases by having three part solutions. So deflected shape or form, the bending moment diagram and reactions. After you have taken the quiz, what is your opinion? Is deflected shape the first one, the second one or the third one? So I will start with the third one, option C. In option C, you can see that the support at this point, it is a fixed support. A fixed support cannot rotate and here you can see a rotation angle. It means that this option is uh, wrong and also when you are applying vertical loading it should deflect like this instead of a simple two lines that means that the deflected shape is not this one so we eliminate option c and then i will move to option b in option b this beam is being detached now the support here is a pin support a pin support has two reactions here vertical and horizontal the vertical reaction will prevent it from moving down if it was a roller support like this then i will say that yes it can move down but here we don't have any roller support that's why this option is wrong as well now this leaves us only option a this means that option A is right. So when we apply loading here, this is smoothly deflecting. There is theta angle over here because we have a pin support. A pin support will always rotate. A fixed support will not rotate. You can see fixed support. There is no rotation uh, at all. And again, uh, this point is fixed. It's not moving uh, anywhere. So that's the reason option A is the correct options. That's how we determine deflected shapes by process of elimination and by applying the basic uh, rules. If you're not familiar with the basic rules, uh, click on this side of the screen to watch my first video where I talk about uh, support conditions, where I talk about uh, bending moment diagram, joint compatibility and other basic uh, rules for qualitative analysis. Once I've solved this a quiz then I will go to solve three different cases and I will study the effect of support conditions not only on deflected shapes but on bending moment diagram as well so here what is the effect of support in first case you can see we have a pin support second we have a roller and third we have internal pin what will be effect of internal pin in this kind of uh, problems so we have to plot deflected shape and bending moment diagram. So first let's go with deflected shape. The first one, you can see here we have a fixed support. So fixed support will not let it rotate. And rotation will happen over here. This is the deflected shape. And for the second one, because we have 
a roller over here when we apply loading this member is going to come down and here we don't have any rotation now what will be deflected shape for the third case here as soon as we apply loading uh, not only this point is moving down but the pin is letting it move down it can rotate internal pin means that rotation is allowed and moment is not going to develop at that point and here we have a pin support so that's the reason you will see that we have a rotation now let's play animation for the first one you saw that joint was deflecting and it is important to note over here that if you draw two tangent this angle is a 90 degree angle let's play the second one note that because of roller support this point is moving down the third one the internal pin is causing it to move down now let's plot bending moment diagram so for the first one when we apply loading over here first we have to see what will be reaction so we will have reactions here and again this is sagging and this is sagging so tension is at the bottom and uh, compression is at the top and here it is switching the sides so this means that this will come down here and then again go up for compatibility of joints we will have same uh, moment and uh, here we will have anti-clockwise bending moment and two reactions and this will cause the bending moment diagram like this now let us see what we have here we have bending moment diagram like this anti-clockwise moment is causing a moment over here the second one now you will see that at this point uh, because of roller because this is going down it is not going to cause any moment so that's the reason you don't have any moment at all and note that now we have quite a lot of moment at this region because this side is not providing any bending resistance and again uh, we have uh, quite a lot of uh, bending uh, reaction how about the third one the third one uh, this was the point of application of load and because of internal pin although we have a pin or simple support on the right side but because of internal pin no moment is developing when you are applying loading simply it is sinking down and the moment is not being transferred to the right side so that's the reason internal pin will never take any moment at all whenever you apply loading it is going to deflect down it is going to rotate you have hogging moment over here at the bottom you don't have any moment because of pin support earlier we had fixed support that's the reason we had a moment and again reactions will be like this and here you will have vertical and horizontal here you will have vertical horizontal and anti-clockwise moment and here you will just have a horizontal reactions so that is how we determine deflected shapes bending moment diagrams reactions uh, shear force and load paths collectively it is termed as qualitative analysis Qualitative analysis is really very important skill that every structural engineer or civil engineer should have in order to verify computer outputs, in order to carry out initial design. If you want to watch full series on structural behavior, simply scan this barcode or go to this link. I will provide the link down below in description uh, as well. The lecture slides will be provided as well. You can download all lecture slides by scanning this barcode or simply going to this link. I will provide the links down below in description as well.